Well, we've got some pretty shocking news today. It looks like Playboy is ready to quit. Or they might as well quit. Playboy has announced today that they are no longer going to publish photos of nude women. I mean, seriously. I mean, isn't that what you do? That would, that would be like McDonald's saying, hey, we're not going to serve hamburgers anymore. Why don't you just quit? If McDonald's is not going to serve hamburgers and french fries anymore, for God's sake, just close the doors down. Give me a break here. Uh, Playboy started 62 years ago. This is the first issue that started it, started it all. We had a man who had an incredible, incredible idea. He was a genius. Somehow he was lucky enough to get Marilyn Monroe as the first centerfold. I mean, how that happened, I'll never know. But this is how destiny works. Things just come together. And Hugh Hefner brought it together. You've got to give the man credit where credit's due. Now, obviously, he has gone senile. Yes, I will go on record as saying this man has gone senile, but I don't think he's in charge anymore. What this is, this is a lesson. This is a lesson of how empires fall. Empires rise because of incredibly intelligent people with courage. Oh yeah, this man had incredible courage to do this. Back in 1953, start up a nude magazine with all the Puritan thoughts that were going on in the 1950s. The Puritans, you know what the Puritans, the Puritans can jump off the bridge for all I care. Well, they're all gone. The Puritans are gone. It's another age. But this man, it took courage, took courage to start up a business like this in the land of Puritans. And he, he was successful. He knew what people wanted. He's a genius. He's a genius. He was a genius. Now he's senile, obviously, because he put the empire in the hands of his daughter, I believe. And then who knows, maybe even a grandchild might be in control. Now, this is a lesson. <clears throat> like I was saying, this is a lesson of empires, how they fall. You have Founders, founding fathers who are incredibly smart, incredibly genius, with great ideas, and they, and, they, and they raise up the empire to heights that nobody has ever seen before. And then what happens? They get old, they hand off the empire to the child, and the child just basks in the glory of the father and does nothing. And the empire flounders, and then all of a sudden you give it to the grandchildren, and the grandchildren just become jet setters. Yeah, that's what happens. The children and the grandchildren, they fly around in jets and say, Oh, you know who my daddy was? My daddy was Hugh Hefner. He created the Playboy Empire. Yeah, I have millions and millions and millions of dollars. Please give me the best hotel you got. While the magazine flounders and fresh ideas are nowhere to be found, because all they do is sit around drinking martinis and flying to the finest hotels around the world. I made a video on it one time, how by the third generation, the family is of wealth, it's all been pittered away, what, 80%, or I, I forget the numbers, but a huge percent of the empire gets just gets thrown away by the third generation. Well, we don't live forever, and obviously Hugh Hefner was a, is a legend. Hugh Hefner was the man. He put it all together. We have to give respect to, res to the man. But now he's old, he's senile, and he's gone. Now all he wants to do is put his old, wrinkled hands on blonde's thighs. And quite frankly, that sort of, you know, that doesn't really sit well with the public. When they see this 80-year-old man with his hands all over young blondes, well, that may be not a very good public relations picture right there to begin with. So maybe that was the whole thing that made the Playboy empire collapse. What Maybe Hugh Hefner should have just stayed, in the, stayed out of the limelight. I mean, you don't really need 80-year-old men on TV with their wrinkled old hand, wrinkled old hands all over young blondes, because it, like I say, it's not a public relations 
uh, highlight. As a matter of fact, it's a public relations nightmare. Now, when he was in the, in the 1960s and 50s, when he was a young stud, sure, that was his thing. But, as I said, Playboy magazine has now died, obviously. <laughs>